Hello everyone and welcome back to another virtual program presented by the Pamunkey Regional Library. My name is DJ and I'm the Adult Services Librarian at the Mechanicsville Branch and today we're going to be going over a tutorial for our June Take and Make. Um, we're going to be learning how to make a pineapple pine cone. Um, our June Take and Make kits will be available at the Mechanicsville Branch Library on Friday, June 2nd while supplies last. This video will give you a tutorial on how to make your own if you have the supplies or if you just want to find some supplies and make your own, um, keep watching this video. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have in front of me all the supplies that you'll be needing to make this craft. Of course, we have our pine cone base. Um, if you're using your own supplies and you have to find your own pine cones, you can find some or you can purchase some at maybe a craft store like Michael's or something like that. Um, but these are the pine cones that will be coming in our kits. They're pretty, pretty symmetrical pine cones, not too rugged. These ones don't have the prickles on the end of them, so they're pretty safe to use. We of course have our leaves and we've got our four inner leaves that are pretty small and then we've got eight outer leaves that we cut out. Um, if you're using your own paper you can cut them out however you like to. These are the kind that will be available in our kit. You of course have a little pot of yellow paint. You'll be using your own, if you're using your own paint obviously you can find a yellow paint. This, and what is those those are all the items that are included in the kit what's not included in the kit that you will need is obviously a paint brush to paint your yellow paint onto your pine cone and in order to hold the leaves together on top of the pine cone some glue or tape if you prefer um i'm gonna try to use tacky glue but i might also have to end up using tape as well um so without further ado we'll go ahead and get started with step number one So step number one really is just us using the yellow paint to paint the pine cone. Um, we're just going to be painting the ends of the different flaps on the pine cone right here. Um, you can paint the outer part, portion and the inner portion if you want to, or you can just do the outer portion. It doesn't matter. It just depends on how much yellow you want on your pine cone. Um, it might be a good idea to have on hand some water to rinse your brush as well as some paper towels or napkins as well so you can dry it off. But when we paint, we're just going to take our little brush right here and we're going to paint the outer edges a little yellow. And we're going to be, we're using acrylic paint here and those will, that will be the kind available in the kits. So it's pretty quick drying. Um, if you're using a different paint, it might take longer to dry. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's done being painted. So while we're waiting for our pineapple to dry a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and go on with step number two. So step number two, we're gonna be messing with the leaves right here. I'm going to actually use a pen and you can use a pen or a pencil and I'm going to take our leaves and and style them a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my pen and take a little leaf around it and I'm just going to curl it up a little bit around the pen just to give it some extra texture like that and you can do that if you want to with the leaves or you can leave them as they are it really doesn't matter it's entirely up to you I'm going to go ahead and do that with my leaves, and I'm going to show you all what they look like when they're done. Okay, so this is what they'll look like when they're done. They'll have these little curved tips for the out, and I only did the outer leaves. Um, I kept the inner leaves as they were. So the next step, and like I said, you might have to use either tape or glue depending on your preference for this next part, but I'm going to be taking our smaller leaves, and I'm going to be bending them a little bit at the bottom and starting to put them together so we can glue or tape them to the top of our pumpkin on our pumpkin pine cone. Okay. 
So if you're gonna glue your pieces in there, the best thing to do is to take it around where the crevice is and glue the end piece. Just put a little bit of glue on there. Use tacky glue, it'll dry clear. And then just put it in the crevice around your inner leaves and just keep it like that. And you can add more leaves around it too. It'll dry eventually, especially if you use thicker glue. Um, so I'm gonna just do that around. And there are plenty of leaves in the take and make kits. So you can add as many as you want to, or if you wanted to make more, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Um, so we'll show you all look what it looks like when it's done, but that concludes our take and make for June. We thank you all for watching this take and make, and we will see you all next time. Everyone take care.